So it's Fidico M2288 USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 up to 20 gig per gigabit per second. The connection speed inside, and it's a dual M.2 NVMe SATA SSD docking station for M key and B plus M key SSDs or SSD M.2 NVMe SATAs. And this you can do offline cloning as well as it's stated right here. And it's aluminum design, know that. But first, let's open it and uh, see all those claims ourselves. This is a really cool sticker. Thank you for choosing, but it's like a logic board. I like that. Okay, now it has been opened by magic. Oh, that looks good, actually. There we go. That's the device itself. This, I'm assuming, is the power brick. Yep, bar barrel style. Should be 12 volt, I hope. Uh, 5 volt. Oh, okay, that's even better. 3 amps, 15 watts, of course. Makes sense. 5 by 3, it's uh, 15 divided by 3 makes... 5 by 3 makes 15 watts. And what else we have here? The USB-C to USB-A or USB-C 3.2. And uh, this is the user's manual. If you want to go through it and learn how to do all this stuff, we're going to do this anyway. And uh, let me just take a look at it. What we are dealing with really quick is I'm a big fan of these uh, kind of things. I've never had FIDECO before. This will be my first time being introduced to it, so be patient. Let me just take this out really quick. I like these dual connector USBs. They make a lot of sense to me. And because you can put it on a regular USB type A or pull this out and it's a USB C to USB C. Really nice. And here's the star of the show. If I can cut this baggy here, anti static looks like, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. And here's the device. Yep, it is aluminum all around, and the bottom has some rubber, so it doesn't move. This is really cool design, by the way. This is the button for offline cloning right here. You put your NVMe SATA right here, and the second one right here, which here would be your uh, source, or the one that has the data, and here will be the target or the one that is empty which will receive the data always when you do the offline cloning well even the normal software cloning you always make sure that the one that is receiving the data or the target device is equal or greater storage inside than the uh source so if this is for example 500 gigs make sure the second one is either 500 gigs or above and you have the indicator lights here that starts from a to b and it goes through 75 50 7, 25 50 75 100 and that is perfect so you can see what's happening here without having to connect it to a computer here you have on and off button on the back you have a usb c port right here and the dc power in five volts Besides that, there is no other ports, and uh, we're going to connect two drives on it and uh, see where that goes, and then we're going to throw it on the computer and connect it via computer just to see a few speeds and see what goes on with it. This is actually really beautiful. Let me plug it in really quick just uh, to see those lights. I'm always excited to see new things. Okay, I'm just going to plug it really quick like this and turn it on and of course we don't have anything going on so there should be no lights technically but if we plug a drive or two we might have something going on right here and let me just grab some drives really quick and see what ha what happens let me turn it off first unplug it then put the drives in so here i have two drives let me take this uh, stuff from here really quick these are both Samsung uh, 970 Evo Plus drives, but one of them is 250 gigs and one of them is 500 gigs. But what I'm going to do, as I said, on the A or the source, always smaller or equal. This is the 250 gigs. And on the B, I'm going to put the uh, receiver or target, which is 500 gigs. So we know we have enough space. All the data in here will be wiped from the second one or the target so keep that in mind every time you do this target device make sure you back up anything that was on it if there was anything is everything on it will be gone okay 
With that said, I hope you understood what I said. Let me just plug it really quick like this and flip it to on and to clone. As I understand, you have to hold this button like I do in the other ones, like Wavelink and all that. Okay, I'm holding the button. And now it is actually starting to copy the data from here to right here. And it will take its sweet little time. So I will be back when this whole process has been done and finished. And we will throw them on the computer and see how the data looks in comparison to each other when it put it, when we put it in the computer so see you probably in a minute or two i guess And just like that, the cloning has been done here. Whatever is on the first drive or drive A now is 100% mirrored on drive B. And uh, we're going to take it from here and plug it to our PC and confirm that. I mean, that's the best way to do it, right? So we'll see how it uh, fares with reading both drives at the same time on a PC because this is actually a really cool device so far. And the data has been done. We have nothing else to do right here. I'm going to turn it off and connect it to my computer really quick. Okay, so here we have both drives. This is the external Samsung 250 gigs, which was our source. And this is the 500 gigs that was our target. Now, what happens when you copy over from the 250 gigs, it reformats the structure of the disk to exactly what the first one is. So that's why I always suggest make sure to have them exactly the same if you want to. But what you can do here, as you see, we have the 500 gigs. But on the computer, the 500 gigs shows as only 232 gigs because it's mirrored uh, to the first one, to the source. And you go here to the disk management, click here, new simple volume, and it will open that up if you want to do that. That is completely up to you. But of course, I would suggest you do that because you're wasting that part portion of the drive. But hey, that's uh, offline disk cloning. Anyway, now uh, here we have the disc one has one video and disc two one video. Let me just open this up really quick in a new window and uh, let me do something really quick. I'll do one quick transfer from my computer uh, to this one and see what happens. I'll just throw in a quick video a ceiling fan, I guess. Boom. That was fast. That was fast. And now let me take this video from this one which is plugged in uh, slot A and throw it to slot B. We, we are doing a transfer now between the two disks plugged to FIDECO. Let me throw it right here. Boom. Actually, that's not bad. 300 something it's at there. So it is pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do just a quick speed test because there is really not much more that I can talk about. Uh, I'm just going to speed test slot a really quick with a drive we should get the 250 that is our slot a sam 500 orico sam 250 this is ours and sam 250 select this one and start uh, testing okay 870 that is actually pretty good not gonna lie because these are now limited of course to the speed of your uh drive itself this one is a v9 ssd 970 evo plus samsung and plugged into my motherboard via USB-C 3.1. So those might be factors that can hinder the speed. But when you're closing up to one gigabit per second, I, I one gigabyte per second, I don't consider that even at the slightest slow. So this is actually great. And it simply works. That's uh, what I see here. That's what matters. And both drives, as you saw yourself, let me bring it back up here are working at the same exact at the same exact time so we have external 250 gigs and external 500 gigs so these are both plugged into the fideco and both should have exactly the same stuff in them because that's what we did 
And as I told you, just make sure that uh, you go to your disk management. If you want to gain back that space, if you did it the way I did it to the uh, disk management. And when this opens up, just go down and see how much is unallocated. If you are in the same exact situation as I was, that I transferred a 250 gigabyte drive into a 500 gigabyte drive. So this one went right here. And the rest of the 500, well, then it's unallocated because we didn't mirror more than that. And you just click this simple volume and it should bring that back. Letter, I'm going to leave that automatic. I'm going to do a 500 GB D or part partition two. click next, click finish and wait for it to actually bring the drive up and it should become blue really quick. Boom. Now we have the other half of that drive ready to go. As you see, this is one here. So this here and this here are the same exact drive, just partitioned differently. Because for example, let's say you ported a Windows entire system in here. This will be by itself and you have an extra 232 gigabytes left in here in our uh, case right here. Of course, your case might be different. But just in case you encounter the same exact thing as I did here, this is the way to do it. So you gain that extra space as a secondary uh, partition. It says primary, but you know how we used to call them always the secondary partition of the first one. And with that said, I'm actually happy with this uh, FIDECO. It worked and it, it worked quite fast to clone offline. Then obviously you can clone online too with a computer. That is the easy route there too. And uh, yeah, with that said, I thank you for watching this video. Link will be down in the description below. That link will be uh, an affiliate link between me and Amazon. So I might make a few pennies at zero extra cost to you. And please hit that like and subscribe on your way out. Why not? We'll see you next time. Bye.